The White House is getting rid of the testing requirement for people coming back into the U.S. This change follows the decision by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to delay the COVID-19 testing requirement for those who are traveling to the United States from countries affected by the virus. Now, there are still private sector areas that are going to require some tests. Cruise lines will require a test before you board in many cases, but you're not going to be required to do that pre-departure test to come back to the United States, and that's a big relief for a lot of people. One small piece of advice, though, get ready for international airfares to start soaring right about the beginning of the summer. And so if you're going to book a flight to go overseas, do so as soon as you can. According to an administration official, the Biden administration will announce on Sunday the end of its requirement that people entering the United States test negative for COVID-19. This change follows the decision by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to delay the COVID-19 testing requirement for people who are traveling to the United States from countries affected by the virus. Is this the right time to ease back on those testing requirements? Yeah, when you look at the data, the testing requirements aren't doing much. This is the right decision to do. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, announced today that it will no longer require travel-related vaccines for people entering the United States from select countries. The change is based on updated science and data that show the tests are no longer necessary. The agency will continue to monitor the situation after three months to assess the impact of this decision. The travel industry had lobbied for months against the restriction, which had been in place since January 2021. The Biden administration has announced its intention to work with airlines to make the transition to a new air travel requirement as smooth as possible. Some scientists and lawmakers, including many Democrats, had been critical of the requirement, feeling that it was no longer necessary. A lot of people didn't want to travel internationally because of the testing requirement. This provides them with peace of mind so that they know when they're traveling they can make it home. Since the CDC issued a statement in December requiring travelers to test negative for any diseases within one day of arriving in the U.S., it has not been required for those crossing the U.S. land border. If there is a need to reinstate a pre-departure testing requirement including due to a new, concerning variant CDC will not hesitate to act, an official stated. Don't agree with it at all, just because it's starting to go around again. So I think we need to take precautions. Hopefully uh, we're not spreading COVID all around as well, but uh, that's one of the risks, but I think we're to a point where we can accept that risk. Robert Isom, the CEO of American Airlines, recently stated at a conference that the testing requirements for travel are nonsensical and depressing. Airlines have stated that many Americans are not traveling internationally because of these concerns, which has led to a decrease in leisure and business travel. Isom said that 75% of the countries that American Airlines serves don't have any testing requirements for their airlines. They are frustrated about this and it's harming not only American Airlines travel, but the travel of other airlines as well. This just doesn't make sense, they say. I'm thankful that we are relaxing that. Uh, I'm vaccinated, I felt good. Well, it wouldn't be my preference. I would prefer to have testing still. In December, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, updated the requirements for international travelers to receive a negative test for travel-related pathogens within one day of arriving in the United States, rather than the previous three-day requirement. The new policy is intended to speed up the process and help improve safety for both travelers and the United States.